Hey, hey, welcome back to Laura's Natural Life, and today I have once again partnered up with the Choosy Chick to bring you a video all about affordable green beauty and body products. The Choosy Chick is one of my favorite boutiques because they offer such a wide range of products from luxury to super affordable because green beauty doesn't have to always be super expensive. So I've got four brands to share with you today. Some of them you may know, some of them you may not. So let's jump right in. The first is Badger. Badger is a company that's been around in green products for I feel like forever and they're everywhere. They're so easy to just pick up if you're on the go and they have such a wide range of products. They have skincare, they have really great lip balms. They do sunscreens and they also do men's products. So this is the Badger Men's Beard Balm. I know a lot of us here on YouTube tend to neglect the men's green products, but this is one if your guy has a beard. My husband does not like having facial hair, um, but I do have a brother who loves having a beard and I know that it's really hard to find products for men, especially for their faces, that don't smell too girly or are too hippie for them. And this one is super nice because it has, it barely has a scent, it's very light, and I think that once it got on the, on the face, it wouldn't really smell. And it has such simple ingredients. Babasu seed oil, jojoba oil, sunflower, beeswax, baobab, and then essential oils of bergamot, vetiver, sandalwood, black pepper, cardamom, vanilla, and myrrh, and you would think that that would make it very scented, but it really isn't at all. And another one of my favorite products for them is for the whole family, which is amazing. And it's a hard product to find that works, and that is a natural insect repellent. I talked about this a lot in the summer. This is their anti-bug balm, and it comes in a stick. So it's not messy, it's not greasy at all, you don't have to spray anything, and you don't stink like bug spray. You don't have those toxic fumes, and it really does work. This smells a little like, um, I mean a little bit like citronella because citronella is obviously in here. There's also cedar, lemongrass, rosemary, and geranium in castor oil. And I love that it's a solid. It's not going to spill if you are bringing it somewhere in your bag. I use this a lot to go golfing in the summer and it worked great. The next brand I am 100% sure that you have heard of and used and it is Acure. Acure is one of my absolute favorite affordable brands. Um, and it's also really accessible and easy to find in stores too, which I really appreciate. So two of my favorite products from them are their brightening facial scrub. This is a ride or die product for me and I, the bottom looks kind of nasty, which is why I'm covering it up. I love this. It is a super abrasive, but not in a bad way, scrub. It smells really good. It has algae in here and other C nutrients that are so good for the skin. So I generally use this when I'm in the shower and I'll apply it to my face and let it just soak on in there with the steam from the shower for a few minutes before actually using it as a scrub. And it is amazing. And my other favorite product from them is their dry body oil spray. This stuff is so good and it comes in three cents. I used the coconut down to my very last few drops. I would be very interested in trying the citrus ginger, I think it's called next. They also do rose, um, but this was an amazing dry body spray. I've also used their day cream, which I do recommend if you like using a lotion moisturizer. I, ha I, I generally use oil though now, and I have also used their one of their cleansers that comes in a white and orange bottle, and that was really nice for the summer or if you have oily skin. The next one is a new brand just in from London, the new British invasion, I guess we could say, right? Is it fair to compare skincare to the Beatles? Probably not. But anyways, it's the brand MOA, and they have some really cool products, so they have really cool packaging, and this is their facial oil, which is very light. It's rose hip, damask, rose, yarrow, and geranium, and all of their products have yarrow in them, and yarrow is a really great healing herb for the skin. And also this one, while it does have floral essences in it, it's not strongly floral. My favorite product from them is their green balm. I just love this packaging so much, and I'm finding myself using this all the time. 
So this is great for a cleansing balm to take off your makeup or to do an oil cleansing method with but it's so good for other skin issues. So my skin's getting really dry, uh, weirdly like around my mouth at night. So I've been putting it like around here before I go to bed. My hands are really dry because it's winter. So I've been putting it on my hands. It's kind of like an all-in-one balm. You can do basically anything with it. Uh, it again has the yarrow in it, which is super healing. It has tea tree, which is antibacterial. So you could put it on a bug bite, anything like that that you are wanting to try to heal about the skin, really great for sensitive skin, and um, loving that these don't come with a major price tag too. And my last company is Lily Lolo. I'm sure you guys have heard of Lily Lolo, but may not have necessarily tried a lot of the makeup. Now I know Lily Lolo isn't the same as the price point as say Honest Beauty or Silk Naturals or something, but a lot of the products are very affordable for what you get. They do an absolutely amazing eye primer. Since I got this, and I was skeptical because I've never used an eye primer that actually I like, but since I got this, I have not not used it. Like I've used it every day and it works so good. They have eyeshadow palettes. They have, I believe, four, and they each come with eight eyeshadows. Um, I'm sorry, but I think they're $35 for eight eyeshadows that are pressed. You're not gonna find that anywhere else in Green Beauty. While these eyeshadows aren't like the absolute most pigmented that I've used, they are definitely buildable to be pigmented, super pigmented if you want that, but they're super creamy and super blendable. Like they blend probably better than any other eyeshadow that I've tried and come with a great variety of mattes and shimmers. So this one in Petal to the Metal has five mattes, three shimmers, also super hard to find in Green Beauty and a great deal for what you're paying. So anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this video, what your favorite affordable green products are. Be sure to check these out over at the Choosy Chip. And thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.